will now record to the cloud. Good afternoon, Sarayim Tov. We continue now in the Bayam Darkecha. I hope we're going to continue. <clears throat> we got to be on page I and Aleph. And guess what? We don't have any more. Let me just see. Oh, it's this one. Yes, okay. I did do the third parak. Okay, Baruch Hashem. Everything is here. We're good. All right. We're on Parak Gimel, the third chapter in Beetle. We've discussed what Beetle is. We discussed how to acquire Beetle. Now Parak Gimel is called Toeles Habitol. The benefits, the goal of Beetle. What the benefits if you live a life of self negation, where you totally allow your reality to be in, enveloped within Hashem? What are the benefits? Why? What's the with him? What's in it for me? Aspect. So he says, Now let's expand a little bit with the great benefits of Beetle. And the footnote in Kuf said that this parak is, is really the exact words of the uh, of the tzaddik that we've been learning from his Sefer of Yitzhamayr Morgan, so there's more his exact words. So let's go back. If you have Beetle, it changes your whole life and your whole service Hashem for the best. Subcategory Aleph. If you don't succeed in your service to Hashem, the reason is because there's no beetle in your life. That's going to be the, explained in this section. Sometimes a person feels in the past I felt I succeeded in my service to Hashem. And Hashem illuminated a lot of spirituality to me. So kill his yavish. Now it's like I'm dried out. I feel like she samets. Even when I make efforts, ain't a magiel also time share. I don't have that same taste I had before. And this is hinted to. We may talk about it tonight at the Tubishvat party. Just like this week's parsha, when the Jews came tomorrow and the water was bitter, says the saver base Yaakov from Ishbitz. He said the Jews, you know, it was a month. It was less than a month. It was they just just experienced the splitting of the sea. Everything was so clear. Everything was so alive. And now they came to a place called Mara. Their Yiddish kite was bitter. They didn't feel any taste. Umar Gishimi, you feel Shabiyamim Avrahim Satov. In the good old days, things were better. When I was young and excited about Yiddish kite, when I was a child, it was a Shvad leave to Yiddish kite. I'm an old FFB. And everything's done by rote. Or if about Chuva, the early years was exciting and now it's boring. What's going on? You feel that way some ways. Some ways people get into a situation they don't feel any success. Let's say you pray with a lot of effort. You see your prayers aren't answered. Alomade. Or let's say you're learning, you're spending time learning. You don't see success in learning. Why is that? So be ready to take this, guys. I'm not saying it. The tzaddik's saying it. So you have to understand. Hashem is showing you the way. He's saying to you, Bini, my son, Elisa, you have grown, you have succeeded. But now I want you to enter a service in a much deeper and inner way. I want you to enter the world of Beetle. Learn the real method of unification with God and to be subsumed in his reality. Come to the recognition that everything is Hashem. And the main inner avoda comes through Beetle. That's, that's the next level. You're missing that level. 
taking things to a deeper understanding. So I always say you can learn in yeshiva and it's amazing and it's good and it's wonderful. But certain people start to feel, you know, I'm not, I don't think I'm growing anymore. That's when you have to start learning a little bit of Hasidus to understand the, the learning in a deeper way, what it accomplishes. So Imadam Nichnas Latora Vavodas Hashem is Brach. A person enters the Torah and serves of his Brach without nullifying yourself of our Hashem. Asumolatanos. He's filled with complaints. Vavodas Shorat Tfilus. I see they're helping. Fumole Nikoim Vastaros is he's filled with blemishes and, and things that are hidden from him. There's too many things he doesn't understand. But when you merit to achieve these levels of beetle that we're talking about, you understand. Shagam Shagam even though you have to work hard in Davening and in Torah. You always have to proceed. Beetle before you learn in Daven. And beetle after you learn in Davin. Remember, we said the beetle sandwich. You start with the total feeling of beetle and then realize the effort I make is to illuminate Hashem in my life and to say everyone else should see Hashem. And then when you finish with that great success, you go back to the world of beetle. Kitachlis Akol, because what's the goal of everything? That's the recognition of Hashem's existence and his unity. Then, only then will you merit perfection of divine revelation in the lower realms. That's subsection Aleph, first point. Okay, so that's why you're not feeling happy with your avoda because you haven't worked on Beetle. Base, second advantage. If you have Beetle, you will merit that your service will be easier. Why? It appears that the Yetzirah is very strong, very hard to deal with. We all say, I got strong Yetzirah, man, Rabbi, you don't know what kind of Yetzirah I am. I have Yetzirah and I get up in the morning. I have Yetzirah to look at pretty women. This whole Shovin thing is a turnoff for me. I don't know how I could live without looking at pretty pictures. The star of a Koshima about us, a lot of pain and difficulty in the service of Hashem. You know why? Because we not have yet achieved the level of true beetle before Hashem and complete beetle. If we had total beetle, the whole effort would be easy and simple. Wow. Avramino made peace with his Yetzirah. They say, Hinnik is at small, because what? How did he treat himself? He says, I'm offer favor, I'm like dust and ashes. The tachlis of Beetle, the ultimate of Beetle. I was like, call Avodosa also a binocle. Everything went easy from that point on. Now, when you're looking from the outside, you think it's hard. But the one with Beetle says it's easy. The Imiel, Yehudi Beetle, what happened? My whole thing jumped again. Okay, let's try to fix it. Well, come on, what's going on? Oh, no. I lost it. It just flew off the screen. Did you see that? You see that miracle that just happened? It just flew off the screen. Oh, now we're going to get it back. Hang on. I'm trying hard, guys. Work with me. Yeah. I know, I'm trying to move this over. This is like incredibly, you got to know the, the struggles with the technology here. Okay, anyway, where am I? Uh, okay, base. It's not as much as I would have liked, but what can I do? We got to go with what we got to go. Okay, so where am I now? So, so yeah. If you have Beetle like Avram Avinu, he was the beginning of all believers. The Yavad on the Kudus Amuna, and you work on that aspect of Amuna. Bakara Habiyiris Mitzvah Yisur Hashem Isbrach, and that clear recognition of the existence of the unity of Hashem 
Bidarga on a level. See, this thing's in the way now. Bidarga, Acher Darga, level after level. Ayadeza through that. Kol Avodoso Tova Lo, Bikalos Ubipshitus. His whole service would go easy. Why? Because you know it's Hashem's problems. It's not your problem. It's Hashem's problem. So therefore, you don't feel the stress. You have to feel every success. You know the marshal of the person who gets a ride, he's carrying a heavy load. He gets a ride in a wagon. And the guy says, would you like a ride? He says, sure, thank you. He comes out of the wagon, but he still has the, the, the load on top of his shoulder. And the guy says, listen, you could take the load off your shoulder and put it on the seat next to you. He says, no, 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 you've done me such a big favor ready to give me a ride. Why should I burden you to carry my load as well? I'll carry it. It's so foolish, but how many of us are as foolish as that person? If you have total beetle, realize you're not carrying any load at all. Hashem is carrying the load. You're making the effort. Yes, you're making the effort. But the load is being carried by Hashem, and it's so much lighter. So much lighter. Okay, so now let's continue. Gimel, subsection three. Another benefit. Al Yedei Bito, Sochel Adas, Tafkirabalam. Through Bito, you will know your purpose in life. Isn't that the question I want to know? What's my purpose? Hashem Yisparach Morala Adam Bachal Rega Rega. Hashem teaches a person every moment. What's the proper way to go? It's mainly through our holy Torah. That's how he teaches us. But if you want to merit to succeed to hear what's Hashem telling you? What's Hashem? What's the message to you? You have to nullify yourself. Because now you don't have your corrupt way of interpreting the message. If you're a Balgaiv and you think you're accomplishing everything, then you think when you hear Hashem's message, you're hearing one thing, but that's not what Hashem's telling you at all. Someone who merits the Beatle, you merit to get the advice from Hashem and to hear it. They teach you the straight way, which only makes sense. If you think you still exist separately from Hashem, then you look at Hashem, okay, Hashem's giving me his advice. I don't know, I'll think about it. As long as I don't rebel against the king, but I'll think about it. And I thought about it. It's not me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hashem created you. You're nothing without Hashem. Don't you not like to hear the advice from the person who's the advice you don't want to hear? The person on the outside knows exactly what your problem is. Says, do this, and I can't do that. But if you're bitl to Hashem, you're able to hear the advice. The advice is really clear. It's so clear. Sadiqim see it clearly. They try to convey it to the masses. The masses don't have bitl. They can't listen. They can't hear the message. Because they have filtered it through their egos, and that distorts the message completely. You could hear a message, but you, you hear it through your schema. There's a very important word there called schema. Schema is your past experiences and the present beliefs based on the past experiences. Everyone has a different schema. That's why 20 people can hear one thing and get 20 different interpretations. But if you have beetle to Hashem, you know exactly what Hashem is saying because you only hear what Hashem wants you to hear. And then you'll know what your purpose is in life. Because many of us are very egotistical, are big balgaivas, and of course that purpose has to soothe your ego. And if it doesn't soothe your ego, you think it's not your purpose. Well, maybe your purpose is not to soothe your ego. Maybe your purpose is something that your ego totally cannot tolerate. But Hashem says, that's your purpose. If you have total beat, you say, I only want to do one thing. I want to do what Hashem wants. So therefore, even though I don't understand this, our problem. Ah, oh, but I'll feel lousy the whole time doing it. That's only if you still keep your ego. 
you hear. You can hear what the Torah's advice is. The Torah gives you the advice every week in the Parsha to give you exactly what you should do this week. Exactly what to do this week. This is the week that we fight Amalek, isn't it? This is the week that we sing songs to Hashem, isn't it? This is the week that we show incredible amuna with Hashem. And when Hashem tells you to jump into the lake, you jump into the lake happily. And when you get out of the lake, you sing songs of praise. And then you deal with people who are going to hate you for it, and you'll defeat them also, etc., etc., etc. Hashem's giving you clear messages. Why don't we hear it? Because we got all that non beetle that's not letting me hear any of these messages. And there's still a little paro in this parsha who, after no much, so much has been beaten up, he still chases after the Jews till he gets totally destroyed. So are those people, can anybody hear the messages? It has to do with Beetle. Can you hear the message? Dalit, next subsection. Ha Beetle who are maybe Litvekus MS. Beetle brings to true cleaving to Hashem is Morach. Tachlis of Odawan, what's the goal of everything in life? Iraq a Beetle, it's just Beetle. It's a very deep secret that most people don't recognize it properly. Therefore, we see even though a lot of people they try to achieve dvekas to Hashem, to cleave to Hashem. There are those that the Shechina appears to them. Others not. And others, they never merit seeing anything that's true. <clears throat> Why? Why do you not feel Hashem? There's a simple rule. <clears throat> the Shechina only reveals to those who prepare their hearts to be nullified before Hashem, to make room for the Shechina to be there. Remember, a full cup, you can't, let's say, you have a cup full of urine. A chamber pot. And a guy wants to give you Balvini 50. I don't even know what it exists. That probably costs like $100,000 for free. And he says, just give me your, your cup. Well, you know, I got urine in the cup. Well, spill it out. I can't. Because this is so valuable to me. Well, I'm sorry. I guess I can't pour you any Balvini. No room. Your cup's full of urine. You know what? That's what ego is. You're full of urine. Hashem wants to put the Shekhinah, which is better than Belvini. There's no room. You're full of urine. And therefore he said, I don't understand why the Shekhinah doesn't come to me. Hashem says, you know what? If you'd make some room for me, how do I make room? Spill out the urine. Be an empty cup. No, you have nothing, and then I have what to give you. It's all there is to it, <laughs> at least from a from an intellectual perspective. To do it is another thing. You all look and say, well, "Who would want to hang out to urine?" That's not the dumbest thing in the world. Smells is this and that. Ego smells terrible. Do you ever see an egotistical person? I mean, like a real egotistical person. You run away. It smells terrible. So you got to prepare your heart. A person who cleaves to Hashem with proper fear and love, but open in a way that that's mamish the essence of his heart, which is what that you want to nullify yourself before Hashem. And the goal of my service, I know, is to reveal Hashem's divinity. Then you know the Shechina will guide you to the true place. If that's what you really, really want, then Hashem's going to come there. There's no question about it. But you got to give up all the garbage in life for that. In the beginning, it's an extremely difficult effort. In the beginning, to purify and clean yourself every time fresh. 
with all the same thought over and over and over between the sleep of the inside of his heart. To nullify yourself to Hashem. To know that the main thing is to reveal the malchus of Hashem and to reveal Hashem in the world. That's not an easy job to do. In the beginning, it's for sure not easy because you don't want to give up yourself. But if that happens, then you will merit that the Shekhinah will descend upon you. The Shekhinah will reveal itself to you. You'll see the way of life. Why? Because you prepared yourself first with a very clean thought. The main thing is true. Bittu. Now, of course, you're going to find out sooner or later what's the day of the week to have the most bittel. Shabbos. Because you don't work. The whole reason we don't work is to create a sense of bittel. And then we have a sense of bittel. We have a good chance to the Shekhinah to come in. That's the blessing of Shabbos. Hey, subsection five. A bitl poser shari Torah. Bitl opens up the gates of Torah. Kishon of any yodha lahas. A person has trouble being diligent in Torah. You open up a Gemara. After five minutes, your mind's wandering. Vena mevis is going. You don't understand any more. Or any book for that matter. Any safe. Simeon, what's that a sign? Shetzarchli spatl yos Hashem. You have to nullify yourself more to Hashem. I can't concentrate on my learning. I have learning disabilities. Sure you do. But when we give you a video game, you can sit on it for four hours and it's not one disability, you're the best one. Did you ever notice that? Those with disabilities, they have amazing talents. That's how the tzaddikim behave. When a tzaddik is trying to understand Torah and it's not coming, you know what they would do? The tzaddik. They would totally nullify themselves even more. Go higher and higher and higher in Beetle. There's no end to how much you can nullify yourself. And then when they did a little Beetle action, then they go back down to the Gomorrah. Then they go over the whole text with all the details. Until the whole teaching became clear. Why? When you merit to nullify yourself totally, you merit that revelation that Hashem gives you for that. Again, everyone on their level has to empty up their cup so that Hashem can fill it with Torah too. Let's say a person's tired. I'm tired. I'm worn out from my learnings. You didn't bring more light of nullification into your learning. So what should you do? You're tired? Stop. Take a five-minute break. Don't go to the kitchen and eat another pastry. Ascend to the world of thought. And to delight in the reality of Hashem and His unity. Then go back with all kinds of life to be able to learn your Torah. We got time to squeeze in one more benefit. Six, Vav, a beetle, maybe Latikun. Beetle brings a person to correction, which means. Here we go. Because a beetle by MS with the true with the power of true beetle, Yiskalaw Sosak in his call of fire. You can merit to ascend and repair all the damage of the past. You can leave all the bad things you did. You can merit all the holinesses. Why? When you nullify yourself before Hashem, you don't consider yourself anymore. He's not thinking, did I succeed? Am I a tzaddik? You're not thinking about it. He doesn't think about what happened until now. You accept upon yourself to return in tshuva. And what does that mean? The Yaskal Mikhanish going to start fresh. 
to search Hashem from level to level. You can sweeten all the judgments of the past. Even though he continues to fall as he's trying to grow. If you want to do the will of Hashem with every movement, and you sanctify and purify yourself according to the level that you're at, with true beetle, you will succeed. With selfish at the end, you'll get to the intended goal, which is what he called Kavanas Iraq, the Galos, as a Shem is Barak, the Lui Shum Atzmius. You want to reveal Hashem without any self interest in this. In other words, he's saying you can really get to proper Chuba. That's what it is. Chuba is returning back to Hashem. When you return back to Hashem, you're not the same. The whole idea is truly you're not the same person. What causes you to do Averas? We already talked about this in the Sivir Shalom class on Friday. It's these various Yetzirahs that come from the worst mitos that you have. And one of them is arrogance. Arrogance, love of this world, love of self. When you do complete people to Hashem, there's no more love of self. There's no more arrogance. There's no more anger. All the sources of sin are gone. You are totally a different person. You're not the person who did those Averos. You are now a person who only does the will of Hashem. And you look back at those Averos and you're so embarrassed from those Averos. And that's what real tshuva on those Averos is all about. It's what you are now. It's what That's the real tikkun of the person. You, you did a lot of terrible things. so But that damaged you. The worst part of all the Averis is the damage you did to yourself. When you have Beetle, that in effect means I'm a totally different person. I would never think of doing those things again. It's not even in my wealth and charm to do them. That's how you achieve the Tikkun. And then you try to make corrections from the things that were broken and to fix them up. Okay, we've done six of the benefits. We still have just about enough to do the next four tomorrow. And we'll conclude this third section of Bito and Amir Tzashem next week. What do you think is going to be the next topic? Gaiva, arrogance, fits right in. Okay. Shkayach Shlomo for listening. Zoom. There's going to be many, many people who probably are going to listen to this class.